Yeah. What's good? Oh, it is you. Looking like yourself. New merch, oh. new merch, new merch, new merch. Oh. Bam, 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 bam. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Cadillac Jackson, season five, episode two. And for the people that don't like episodes, 30 episodes later. You see it. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> What's going on, family? You done no oh, oh, it is a hoodie. You slept. It's your boy OG sneakers. <laughs> Ah, I just love it. It's just so nice and soft. I want to curl up with it right now. Looking like you from tell the people them, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Q. <laughs> Yo, Q. <laughs> and it's your man, Beard Jedi, a.k.a. the Black Alex McKeaton, a.k.a. Shupak Shakur, a.k.a. the Boss Kick Ross, a.k.a. Iron Knight Tyson, a.k.a. the eight ball of this shoe game. We got braids in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Coming for all your aunties. And if you don't give it to me, I'm going to jack your ass. <laughs> this wait, wait. is. We don't want no smoke. None, yeah. none, none at I'm all. I'm thugging out here in these streets, son. Uh, this is Talking Kicks. This is season five, episode two. Talking Kicks. Beard just growing. Gang, 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 hey, gang. hey, hey, hey. Where, where that blue shirt come from, man? The beard just grow it? Yeah. I have no idea, to be honest. I saw the listing online, and I ordered it. Oh, I thought that was something you made, and I was like, really? That's that's what we're doing in these streets now? I, I mean, I could. That, okay. They, they said, the Fat Mac is back, eight ball. It's going to be, baby. Talking Thugs podcast, keep it going. Yeah. Crease, that's what I'm talking about, Crease. That's why we fucks with Crease right there. Beard looking fresh. No slander, no hate from Crease. We appreciate you. Happy Before birthday to the homie Crease Kicks today. Happy Yo. birthday, my friend. Happy birthday, Crease. Hey, man. Let me go ahead and say this real quick before I even get to the kick talkers. The support that y'all showed today on the gram, showing us that everybody got their shirts. I think everybody got their shirts by now. USPS, first of all, you my hero. Because those got mailed out Friday night. And y'all had them by Monday in most places. Absolutely. Lars, you understand the struggle. Thank you, brother. Um, so people got their shirts. People are hyping it up. People are using the hashtag uh, TK Hump Day Heat. Like, I I really, really, really appreciate that shit. Everybody who big up me for the bags and the shirts and all that shit, that really makes it worth it. And the stickers. And the and stickers. The stickers. And, and, the the buttons, and, and the buttons, and the buttons, y'all really, y'all really made it worth it. And when I talked to the fellas before I did those shirts, I said, "Wasn't gonna be no more shirts." And y'all wanted shirts, so we did some shirts. And the people was like, "Yep, okay." So when the next shirts coming? So I'm already in the in the kitchen cooking. If y'all like, if y'all like the content we bringing you, stirring it up, stirring it up. Saying? I've already got something on deck for next time. Um, so thank you. Now that I got that out the way. I can go back to treating y'all like the ain't shit people you really are and say your little names on here on the little puss ass <laughs> show. <laughs> What's going on at Two Fly Souls in the building? Sneakaholic Bees. What's going on, bro? Sports Guy Q. What up, though? Hopefully you got your shirts, too. I think you already posted. So if you did, we appreciate it. GLX Kicks. What's going on, brother? Dunn's Kicks with the best hand in the game. Damn. Mm. So Whole collection, nigga. Hey, I salute you, brother. Heads ain't ready. Your shirt probably isn't there yet. Heads ain't ready. Ordered from Canada. He's better than all of you. I just want y'all to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Buck, I see you. We here, player. We here, player. Shout out to you for rocking with us. Uh, KB Fresh Kicks is in the building as well. Don Turner is in the house. What's going on, bro? Keep posting pictures of the baby. If you can get pictures of the baby without your mug, we would appreciate it. That would be awesome. Uh. Q the Queen is in the building. Oh, gee. Royals. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Q? I, I don't know what he did right there. We just let him rock out. <laughs> Kyle Palm 81. What's going on, fam? I sent you a message, too, for some shoes that I got on uh, that I'm selling. So if you're interested, check that message out. Uh, OG Kicks is in the building. What's going on, brother? 
Jamie White is in the house. We appreciate you rocking with us, sis, for real. V's, V's, V's kicks? V's what? kicks. Is that something on my screen? Is that V's kicks? Wait a minute. Probation is over. V's kicks. They done took the, they done took the house arrest bracelet off. Let's give it up for her not having a house arrest bracelet no more. I, I'm going to go ahead and ruin this and say that I follow V's kicks on Snapchat. And I know that right now she stink and she in the bed. I just want to let y'all know that. <laughs> she might not show up for another show because I said that, but I'm telling you, I said it. I said it. She musty and she in the bed. I seen it. Uh, Lars Young was good, brother. Appreciate you for coming through. I appreciate you picking up the shirt. There are like three shirts left. I've got two larges and a 3X gray. I think that's it. So if y'all want a shirt, that's all that's left. Don Turner said, I need the hoodie. Look here, bro. The hoodie was an option when we were making the shirts. This order is closed. No sweater for you. Fuck no, baby. <laughs> next time, next time, when he says it, you, I'm just telling That's you, it. you got to jump right on it because yeah. mm. That's the most expensive part of the order. So I wouldn't order no extra hoodies to hang out until August. I'm not doing that. Uh, who did I miss? Hobdog18, what's going on, family? B. Frank is in the building as well. P.R. Nicole, a.k.a. Footy Society Nicole is in the building. Loving her kicks at the movies. We'll watch the show later. See, she don't even fuck with us for real. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're watching The Incredibles 2 in 3D and some shit she ain't got to spend that much money on. <laughs> Trade 8 kicks. What's going on? Family Texas in the building. Baltimore Tay, a.k.a. Tay Baltimore. Dope appreciate the love. Today. Man, for real. We appreciate that shit. Jermaine Manning. Oh, six. What's good, brother? See, you got your shirt, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, who else we got in here? I think that's it. Warrior Blood is in the building as well. Thank you for coming through, bro. And I think that's it. Oh, somebody let G4 in. Oh my who God. did it? Who did it? He's going out with the wife, so we appreciate you stopping through, brother. And there was one more that I missed. Kia Shine, what's going on, family? What's going on? If you are in the show and you like the show, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, Feel free to hit the thumbs down. I don't give a shit. I would appreciate it if you don't like it. Just let us know. Just let us know what we can do to be better. Does beer get all the dough or does the rest of the crew get a cut? I get all the dough for everything. Cause he do all the work. We don't do everything. Nothing. We just we just stunt. That's all. We just stunt. We just wear it and, and drink. That's about it. <laughs> Matter of fact, I charge Katie extra for his shirts. So that's what it is. I believe that. <laughs> you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I hear you, sports guy Q. He said he would wear his shirt to sneaker con next week, but all black and extreme heat don't mix. Oof. I hear you. I hear you. That's, uh, why you. that's why you buy one of the red ones or a gray one. Yeah, you know. Robert Coley Jr. is in the building. What's good, brother? The pastor is here. What up, Rob? Mm -hmm. sneaker, sneaker had clothing lines in here? Oh, shit. Wow. Salute. Wow. Sneakerheads. And he ain't been in the show since like the beginning of season four. Family reunion. Who you introducing? <laughs> Who you introducing? <laughs> Yo, that's dope, man. We appreciate you rocking with us, bro. Absolutely. Show is packed. Grip Kicks. That's a new name. I don't remember that name. Welcome to the show. If you've been here before, uh, blame Caddy for me for getting your name. Cadillac Jackson. Uh, yes. Cadillac Jackson? Uh, can I help you? You got on the new shirt, so Cadillac Jackson. Uh, I already unsubscribed, so. Block him. Block him, OG. We gotta get him <laughs> off the show. We gotta replace him. We gotta replace him. Let's see what one of the Monday Midsole cats is doing on Wednesday nights, because this dude, he got Hey, 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 maybe I'll put up a post just on, on uh, the gram, ask, you know, uh, anybody who uh, has over 10 followers and <laughs> so we can talk. Maybe we can figure out. We can put it, have somebody put it under Nike one. underscore recruits. I'm sure they'll come <laughs> running. <laughs> That's all we need. Uh, Sneakerhead said he got the baby in hand. Don't know how long he'll be here. Hey, we'll put the baby on the show. Caddy got to go. Baby on the Con show. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Congratulations on the baby. Congratulations. Sleepless Look at nights. That. I don't miss Look at that. that. Lars Young, put me in the game. Look at Lars. He's ready to take your spot, Caddy. Y'all will have to duel to the death. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody taking his spot, J.R. Smith. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's going on, JC Kicks in the building? Appreciate you, brother, for rocking with us. Uh, I'm not a chop it up with y'all 100. Lars, we're going to definitely talk, brother. We're going to definitely talk, see what your schedule's like, see if we can get coordinated. Uh, we'll holler at you for show after the show. Um, so let's get into it. Y'all know how we do. It's time for the Hump Day Heat, what we rock today. I saw a lot of y'all posting up. Maybe we can get a, vis a visual of those who use the hashtag today. Y'all be able to talk about that. If you weren't able to post or you don't rock with social media like that, that's cool. Let us know in the chat. We'll shout you out. Uh, I'll go first because I didn't do shit. This is real easy. Um, I just had on the Kobe 11 Elites. These are the Achilles, I believe, the Achilles game joints. Um, the Kobe. The Kobe's, the Kobe, the Kobe 11s. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that all of y'all, I'm sure that I've shown these on the show several times, but I don't know that I've shown the damn insole. And I don't know if y'all know the drop insole on these. This is orthopedic shit right here. This is crazy. This is crazy. And it's got the air zoom in the back. So if you get a chance to get these Kobe's right now, I think you can get them at any Burlington or Marshall's for like half price. Scoop mm -hmm. them up. Try them on at least. You might have to go up about a half a size to a full size because that drop sole is a motherfucker. Um, but yeah, that's what I rock today. Cadillac Jackson, you had a very interesting day. Yeah. Would you like to tell us what you had on feet? Uh, so today, I didn't get it, get a picture in, but I had on the LeBron 6 Blackouts, baby. Nice. Those are nice. Yeah, so I had these on today, running around, taking care of some errands for the uh, wedding. And um, yeah, so I had these on today. Those have no creases, bro. How many times have you worn those? Uh, first time wearing them. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. D-Ice. Nice D-Ice. That's what's up. OG, what did you rock today, brother? Nike Safaris. D-Ice. Oh, nice. Like Air Safaris. Very comfortable. Um, yeah. Like that. So. God damn. Looking at the chat. Uh, I got GLX. a couple, couple post-ups for you. Oh, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Alternate Motorsports on feet for Dunn's Kicks. That's what's up. Blue Lobsters for the first time. I saw that heads. Those shoes are dope. Those shoes are very dope. Uh Baltimore Tay, aka Tay Baltimore, said he thought there was a Nike boot caddy. They look like boots. Like you, you see this shit. This shit look like some. They they're light, but you you can stomp I, a mud hole in somebody with these. There's, there's definitely the uh, LeBron Six bus drivers. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the bus driver LeBron. What you got on screen there, OG? Don't talk to the operator while the bus is in motion. <laughs> So we got uh let's see here we got uh KB Fresh Kicks rocking those uh was that the Bulls over Broadway tens? Yes, sir. That is probably my favorite ten. Yeah, dope with the with the dope uh stance sock combination. I like that. I like that. And then we got uh, uh J Manning 06. Yes, sir. With the Calvin Johnson trainers on, looking nice and comfy. With a baseball stitching on the heel. That's 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 dope. That's dope, brother. Nice kick. And uh uh no, that's old one. So. Lars cheating. Yeah, no, wait, 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 wait. No, he he represented. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Lars jumping in there with the the blackout indestruct. Nice Shake with the with the oh look, he got the bandana socks to match the hat. Match the headband. Mm -hmm. I need the socks. I'm gonna go all out like an old man. I need the socks to match the bandana. Yeah, I, I just figured that's what he wears when he jumps on the motorcycle. You know, that just look like those. Damn, Lars got a motorcycle too. Yeah, that's. I think I think I remember seeing one from the video. You know, he had to confirm that himself. But so so you're telling me that Lars has a truck, long locks, and a motorcycle. Hate 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 hate. He out there living his best life. That just, mm -hmm. sound, that just sound like a BET movie. <laughs> it does. And yes. then um uh Tay Baltimore, Baltimore Tay giving us the uh the um what are those uh infrared Air Max, Air Max? Infrared. yeah infrared Air Max 90s. Yeah, with the with the nice post up for, for the hump day heat. The I most important part of this picture is that he, he put lotion on his ankles. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tay made sure he was moisturized. 
<gasps> no ashy no. beige. Yeah, a lot of a lot of grown ass men don't put lotion on like below the knees, and that's cool. But just don't come out with your legs out if that's what you do. Don't yeah, do you that. can't be taking professional pictures with ashy ankles. Like Man, I'm cool. about to get the this foot pick in. No, what you about to do is have everybody play tic tac toe on your ankle. Man, put some cool. lotion on. Go get yeah. that Queen Helen's. Go get whatever you got in the crib. No lotion makes you dry sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need that in your life, brother. Uh, so, so we appreciate y'all, man. Like when y'all use that, that's just dope. So we appreciate that, man. Straight up. Uh Swish One, aka Captain Nappy, said, What's up, Caddy? What up? <laughs> Caddy's like, I never knew. <laughs> I never knew. <laughs> <laughs> so after we get out of the way, I will go last this time for pickups. <laughs> um, the week I had, the week I had is one for the books, which is why I have shoes for sale. <laughs> if you're interested in the cement fives or those blue suede twelves, please hit me up. Yeah, uh, y'all gonna be questioning the deacon after this. <laughs> <laughs> it was a week, bro. When you have one of those weeks, man, it's like, hey, uh, I, I did end up losing a brother. I had to sell my older brother. For one of these pickups, I, I didn't talk to him anyway, so it's not it's not a big thing. Um, but yeah, so I'll go last. We will let OG sneakers go first for the pickups this week. Um, picked up a classic that a lot of people picked up. Um, I didn't have it, so I had to go pick up those last shot 14s. Um, I'll do my ranting now, so I don't have to do it in a video. Offensive foul 14s. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. No, the, the, the <laughs> no, the, the, the push in the back, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, Jordan Brand just did us dirty on the quality on these things, man. He's got paint all over the leather, big glue knots on them, but you know, it is what it is. That's what they do. So, yeah, that's all I got, bro. That's it. We left all the what heavy you... lifting for you. Yes, go ahead. There, there was a different color carbon fiber shank or something on that shoe right then the og release um i'm, I'm not certain about that and... because i i was i was checking out i didn't get a chance to watch Jumpman's full video because he has like the og you know certain shoes he has like the whole run and i think this is one where all the different versions he has and someone was saying that they didn't like the um that the toe box was more narrow Mm. But, and he was saying that this shoe was basically I thought his response said that that's what the OG was and that this shoe basically followed uh what the what the OG was but I, I you know I have to do I do have to say I'm not sure I can pull it up here in a second while we're doing the rest of them and see if it's the same you talking yeah. about this part right yeah yeah not yeah, carbon yeah. fiber but yeah the middle, yeah. middle shank if it's if it's the same or different um on the OGs um, let's see. <laughs> Jim Red 12s and Dorbeck and 13s for Chris Kicks. Uh, now, reading Kyle Park said he got those. Kicks uh, Kyle Park said he got those last weekend for $80. GLX said, I'm trying to find a 13 in those, like trying to find a blue line of my school. I don't come in here. It's tough in the streets. <laughs> tough in the streets. Uh, yeah, KB Fresh Kicks said he had a pair. He started to cop them. And then he got a pair in hand, and he was like, never mind. So that's what's up. Got to make that, that choice sometimes. Uh, Hopdog18 said he picked up the cool gray threes and asked, is the Deacon discount if I pay 125 Deacon discount is 120 So you just outside. Just outside. Unless it's a hella grail. And then we about to know. question that in a minute. <laughs> I, got one, I got one Deacon discount this week. But after that, the pastor was on vacation. I can't lie. Ball don't lie. I don't lie. Olympic sixes and MCM Pumas. Woo! JC Kicks, while it a little light too. Mm. Wallet a little light. Mm. Yeah. Maya Moore tens for $90. That's what's up, 313. Retro Queen is in the building. Thank you for rocking with us tonight. Uh, let's see. That was shit. Yeah. I got you. I got you. CR7 gold patchwork joints. Take Baltimore be coming through. When I seen that, I was like, damn, he got the red and the gold. I was like, he killing the game. And Dunn's just, kids, we're not even I'm talking to about the Reds. Dunn's, we're not talking to you no more. Go look at Dunn's video and see what the hell he did this last week. Dunn um, got the whole damn hand. 
Mm. Very disrespectful. De- very disrespectful. <sighs> Cadillac Jackson. Yes, sir. What did you pick up this week, brother? Well, as y'all know, I have been looking for this shoe. And let me grab both of them. So I picked up this week the Nike Air Max 97 Blue Nebulas. Now, here was the problem. These run slightly small. And I needed these in a 14. No store had a 14. Foot Locker, Foot Action, Overseas, none of that. So, had to go to StockX. Luckily, I only paid, I think, 180 for these, but I needed these. These are so clean to me. Yeah, those are clean, bro. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's what I picked up this week. That's dope. Nice. That's all I got. See, y'all, y'all ain't got to do it like that, though. You know, y'all don't do that no other week. And this week, y'all dismounting off of the pickups like that on purpose. It's not. It's not even called for. I don't know what you're talking about. Me but neither. I, I, I mean, you don't. I mean, when you're the king of the hill, you're just the king of the hill. Um, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> This after crazy. after this brief uh, musical note from uh, from our music of our minister of music OG sneakers, the next voice you will hear is that of your so called pastor <laughs> Deacon so Discount. So Why did the shoe just call me? I try not to hear. Well, but I had money on a credit card that was on a zero balance, and I had no fear with the internet as my vehicle. I picked them up one by one. Very disrespectful. Got to get discount is over. <laughs> and his get rain on me is done because I buy. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> well, <laughs> and I spend. <laughs> Because I'm free. Oh, I bought a hell of a lot of sneakers this week. Because the sneaker gods, <laughs> oh, the sneaker gods, they was watching over, over me. Oh, I don't know how to shit about a Chevy. Praise God. Oh, huh. Pastor. So let me preface this by saying that the week before, actually two, three weeks before, I sold a good amount of shoes on eBay that I wasn't using. Saucony's, some other Nikes, some trainers was let go. I sold a pair of royalty Pastor. last week. Excuse me, Pastor. I just have to explain what had happened. No, but um, so and then I saw a shoe, and it was available for a good price. And I went and looked, and I was checking to see where I could get the money from because I didn't want to use the cash. And I found a credit card that was in there that I don't use. Like I paid it off and I threw it to the side. I buy some money. So I'm gonna go with the, the the shot from last week after the show first. God damn it, GLX kicks. So I saw this shoe. There's only two or three shoes that I really like of the two. Jordan 2. I like the color, the candy pack, but out of that, I really like the Chicago joints, the whites. And I found these on eBay. After the show, they were available. And I saw the price and I said, y'all, this shit says $45. I said, so I'm going to just shoot a best offer of $55 and see what happens. And it was accepted. Oh, you got a $50, $55 being those are fake. 
Not in the 12 and a half they ain't. <laughs> Not in the 12 and a half they ain't. No, so late. Um, so, yeah, I uh, got those $55. Pass For me, that. this is, this is a sh- just let me let me get this out. <laughs> This is a shoe I really wanted, and it was $55, and I'm still digging discount, okay? Pasta. One of the shoes I can't show because I need to clean it. I'll show it next week, okay? But that was it's $55 for this one, though. Pasta. You know we family over here, Pasta. We don't care about no dirty shoes. We, we, know, hell up, we had no dirty shoes in the streets, so just go and show the people the shoes, Pasta. So then um, I saw another deal like 15 minutes from each other. These two deals came. They were literally like 15 minutes from each other. Mm-hmm. And we said, this is grail. This is grail season. Mm-hmm. Well. So I already had one pair. Shit, I already had one. But they kind of beat up. I tried to save them. If you follow me on the Instagram, you can, you can see that. Beard underscore underscore Jedi is my Instagram. You can look at my. All right. So, go ahead, Pastor. I had go to go ahead. ahead and, I know go I'm ahead. really trying, Creed. What, what was that in your hand, Pastor? I, some Concords. Lord Man. Jesus. Lord, look at go. Lord Concords. Jesus. They, they are mm. not DS, but they're in, really good, mm. they're in really good condition. Well, mm-hmm. I had to get these. Just um, had to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Stealing from the building offering again, Pastor. I, mm-hmm. I, yeah, you know, it came with the whole joint. It's mm-hmm. legit. Uh, props to, uh, was it Sneaker PMD? No, Sneaker PMD ain't here yet. Index, uh, I think. Swisher no. Kicks. No, these are Swisher mm-hmm. Kicks. Mm-hmm. So props mm-hmm. to Swisher Kicks. Uh, appreciate y'all. That is like my third or fourth purchase from them. And then, and this this is not bullshit. Literally, like fifteen minutes after I got those, I got a notification for these. So it was mm-hmm. only mm-hmm. past grail, grail season. Well, uh, the pastor done spent the money that was supposed to be used for the church van. Well, look in there. Oh Lord, Jesus. Bel Air fives. Bel Air fives. If I could end my collection with one five, this is the one. This is the one for me. It's a great shoe. You're not going to wear it. Yes, the fuck I am. This is the shoe I've been looking for. I got a good deal on it. And uh, yeah. And there's still one shoe, like I said, I need to clean. And there's one shoe that's not here yet. So yeah. That's, uh, yeah. That's, that's some of the damage. That's some of the damage from this week. Mm-hmm. So um, as, as you see, church, we, they have no air conditioning, <laughs> no van, no refreshments, no dinners for after service, no robes for the, the ministry, for the music ministry. If y'all want to know how I really got them shoes, what do you think these braids is for? This ain't just a prop. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I had to go get that's it how, how we, I live. That's how we acted in these streets, Pastor. I had, to, I had to get it. You know what I'm saying? I need these shoes. They weren't going to come off the shoes, so I had to get it how I live. Yes. So I had to get it, okay? Mm-hmm. That's what the boy Scott Q said. Take you to the altar. Who got mm-hmm. something to say? <laughs> Lord, the pastor didn't pull out the knife. <laughs> that's why they call you Realm Box Cutter when they sent you over here. We thought it's because you worked in the warehouse. Pass is a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, credit is the worst thing ever. Credit is the worst <laughs> shit ever. I would have never attempted that shit. And then I saw a credit card that I don't carry. And I was like, oh, hey. And I had a little change from other because the shit I sold, I paid off the credit card. Credit card's never in my wallet. Mm. Never a thought. So, yeah. GLX so, kicks said you about to be eating ice sandwiches. You're right. And, and wind pudding. Wind pudding for the dessert. Um, so if you are interested in those cement fives behind me, <laughs> those are for sale. <laughs> uh, I have those blue suede 12s that are also for sale. I'm not trying to get over. Just looking for the box price. It's never been more. Be, he about to be drinking That's sugar it. water for a month listening to all that I got is That's it. You. That's, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Sneak King quotes. What's good, family? 
That's it. Ah, oh, look at the look at Deacon sold the pulpit. Pastor stole from St. Pastor's Mama the Africa Church Fund. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> take him to the altar. Uh, <laughs> that's not right, Beard. Deacon does Deacon. the tithes and the building fund. <laughs> Deacon has sold all the pews out the church. <laughs> <laughs> no AC service this week. Deacon that took all the offering. Disrespect to a whole nother level. Mm -mm. I agree. GLX kicks. Okay. Unpopular opinion, but I think the low cut patent leather looks much better in my opinion. And I also prefer the 23. That's the same shit I said. That's literally what I said before I purchased We those. don't care what you said, Pastor. All right. That's all. That's Kyle all Park said it best. He said, I feel betrayed. Mm. And <laughs> They ready said shirt price is going yeah, up. No. <laughs> but see, I got these shoes. These are fifty five dollars mm. right here. This is fifty five dollars, ladies and gentlemen. On Thank behalf of the Mars. pastor, on behalf of the pastor, the volume three talking kick shirts will be twelve hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> for a small. Anything above a small fifteen hundred before shipping. <laughs> And Thank you, Lars. Shit God bad. wanted me to have those shoes. The shit came within three within 24 hours. Three of those shoes were purchased. That's how they came. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. It's grail season. Well, the devil do that to you sometimes, Pastor. Yeah, uh, you know. Grail season, man. <laughs> I need the info on the eBay seller. <laughs> uh sorry. Uh they're incommunicado. Uh, didn't we just talk about this? Didn't we just talk about this last week? Like, <clears throat> like I, I just need to buy something. I got this. <laughs> but it was Grails, though. It was Grails. I wasn't even really looking, and the notifications came in. It was like, yo. Yeah, Kali Park said the, the off white Target Kick shirt next. <laughs> <laughs> got to get their bands up. I mean, I'm going to have to do something. Just to pay off this little bill that I didn't ran up. TK off whites. Mm -hmm. 2K to said, Canada. So we got it in white, and we got it in white, white. <laughs> like, <laughs> but but the, the amount that I paid for these shoes was fair for the shoes that I got. The one pair that's coming and the other pair that I need to clean up. I feel like I got to show the pair that's dirty. Go ahead, Pastor. Because they're going to know you saw the whole church. I just I need to get this disrespect. Oh God! Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead, Pastor. All right. So it's a bit of a project. It was a good price, and this happened. This was the first one that started the run. There was this one the day before, and then those other ones came like boom, boom, boom. If this is your act of contrition, you're doing a pretty shitty job. <laughs> <laughs> playoff, playoff toils in the building. They need they need some resto work. You know what I'm saying? They need some love. But um the uppers are solid. There's no soul separation. And other than the part that's gonna be dirty being dirty, that was a win. What you want me to do? I'm sorry. Nigga just brought Michael Jordan's whole career in a week. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is this? <laughs> See what I brought Michael's whole career. Like, hmm, I want to relive the memories. Give me all of it. Mm -hmm. Man, it just came like you. that. Pastor. Pastor. It just came like that, man. What you want me to do? Hey, Absolute Styles, what's going on? My shoe game tight all day, all night. The kids can't go to summer camp now. Mm -hmm. Look, man, we got a show to do. I just wanted to show the people. That's what happened. I just want to show the people. See, Warrior Blood, if the Cavs had a one, he wouldn't have been depressed. He wouldn't have to drown his sorrows like that. But y'all just, you know. Hop dog, they, they up there. I think the red and whites are my favorite. But. He said, he said, he said Deacon saw the church and the congregation with it. <laughs> He saw the first lady. He saw the church mother. He saw the lay organization. Y'all know I don't spend money like that, so it had to be a good deal. You know what I'm saying? He sold the whole body of the church. Mm. He sold the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm. Jesus Christ. What's <laughs> good, so makes Deacon discount has been defrocked. That's what I, you missed. I paid $55 for this shoe. Not we, going back we, there. we just let you back in the church, and this is how you do. Mm. This is how you do. 
<laughs> this one was fifty five dollars. So hold up one of each. So the late people <laughs> just came no, in. No, I not can see. Can see. I, they want to see why we don't have no bus no more. We got a we got a show to do. I will not. Pastor not gonna be eating for like three months. He gonna be drinking flat tummy tea for the. <laughs> Flat tummy tea ass going up and talking to <laughs> Chicago twos, Bel Air fives, playoff twelves, and Concords. No buff. Off white TK shirt strap at midnight, $1,500. I don't like you guys. Price just went up, $1,700. I don't like you guys at all. Just a little week. I got one week out of five seasons. I got one week. Did y'all forget the carnage of the previous four seasons by you two bastards? No, Creflo Holla, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get gas, Cypher. <laughs> oh, we're the flex bar when I need it. We're the flex bar when I need it. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm probably not buying shit else this year, Mr. Bear. <laughs> I can't see. I love it. I love the it. first lady in the whole night. I can't believe you. I'm not buying shit else. That's it. The last two shoes I got coming are shoes that I already paid for. I'm just waiting Wait, on them to show up. There's more. They ain't. They ain't here yet. Was, yeah, <laughs> they ain't here. More what? Look, yo, man, he, I'm just yo. He sold the whole denomination. I learned it from watching you, okay? I learned it from watching you. Ooh. I'm not buying shit else. He had just bought 76 pairs of shoes. <laughs> He bought all 15 seasons of Mike's career. I'm just, I'm just. That's what happened to the church. Ooh. What had happened was. I, it was just, they just, because, man, shit. Mm. So, anyway, I mean, if you want to explain it, you can... all, all of them Jordan shoes, Jordan shoes, and the walls came tumbling down. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I mean, you can go ahead and explain yourself, Pastor. There's nothing to explain. <laughs> Jamie White, I had I had a credit card that I don't carry that has some money on it. And yeah, these deals you are right. Rip headphone users because my ears are <laughs> <laughs> my ears are dead catty. <laughs> these deals just came through. They just like they were literally boom, 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 one after the other. And they were deals where I couldn't sit on them. So it's gonna hurt. It's gonna be it's gonna be fucked up. Because I gotta pay it off again. I gotta unretire it, but yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> What's good, Mr. Skinny in the building? Oh my goodness. Man. Come on, man. Let's get to it. Yeah, let's get to it, man. Let's get to the show. Um <laughs> uh, you need to go behind the curtain and compose yourself fast. I'm I'm good, man. You know, Ooh. I, don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah. So, by the way, if you like to buy some shoes and save some money, you can go to Footer Society, hit them up. Footersociety.com. Use our our discount code Pocket Kicks. K -A L K I N K I C K S. Get ten percent off your order. They got a lot of heat, so check them out. If you nine and a half, ten, ten and a half, it's a lot of heat this week. So make sure you check them out. Um, they ain't got that shit I got, uh, but they got some heat. Yeah, because it's not at all. <laughs> hey, hey, Don Turner. Yeah, let me get this crazy out pocket. Shit. 
I got to pay this card back off, nigga. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that shit. Uh, <sighs> all right, so let's get started, man. We got a topic on here this week. This is a leftover from last week. What is the best cop for the first half of 2018? Mm. Um, he said Beard Gotti. You can write that down. I like that. Beard Gotti. Yeah. I don't have a pen. Here we go. Beard, thank you. Thank you very much for that, Chris. All right. So, Caddy. Yes, sir. First half of 2018. I guess we're assuming since to June 1st or to the end of June. Okay. Through now. So, what part of the show is this? We are in. Oh, I'm sorry, OG. I, you know what? <laughs> Caddy did it, man. Uh, we are in. <laughs> we are in the lace up. Lace up. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So now we're on our topics. First topic is what is your first, your best pickup for the first half of 2018? Okay. Best pickup so far for 2018. I'm going to have to say the Jeter ones. Gonna so have to say people? these. Yeah. Yeah. Because being from New York and being a Yankee fan and my pops being a Yankee fan, these like these sealed the deal for me for the first half of the year. So, yeah, definitely the Jeter ones. Look at this. We got the uh, Katrina threes for speaking quotes. Uh, Kia Shine is saying the cactus or the Sean Weatherspoon uh, BC threes. Is what heads ain't ready. Uh, somebody said the uh, weather spoons again too. Mr. Skinny, Skinny Gang's in the building. Gang, gang, gang. Um, let's see, BC threes again for Mr. Bear seventy six. Let's see what else we got. That was it so far. Yeah, just your your pickups, just your best pickup. Heads ain't ready. Uh, Cat, uh, OG. Uh, I had a tie. I really couldn't okay. uh, make. Uh, I, I couldn't break it. So for me, is the weather spoons. And those JTHs are in the Super Bowl. Nice. Um, and if you force me to say one, I will say these just because getting them at retail was just, you know, a stroke of luck that I thought never would come my way. So, yeah, that's what Word. I got. Where uh, see Lucky Seven SBs DS in the size thirteen on the seven hundred seventy seven made. Or, or after all of that, or the milk crate SB Blazers, less than 200 made. GLX kicks. Mm. It's grail season out here, people. It's grail season. Yes, we ain't copping what's available. We copping what we need. That's what the fuck I'm on right now. Jermaine Manning 06 with the off-white Jordan 1s. Grip kicks with the bread toes. JC kicks with the bread toes. Uh, best pickup was the 99 bread 4s. That's what's up. Mm. Uh, Are they still wearable? There you go. Is are they still wearable? Pop dog, Priest kicks. Doran Becker thirteens. DS with the original Nike receipt for one ninety. Wait, so the original Nike receipt or the original Nike receipt was with one, for one ninety, like showing the price, or did you pay one ninety? Let us know. Um, BC threes or CR sevens, ninety seven red joints and the animal pack. Come on, sports guy Q, you're doing mm. the most. Q, you went off the. That dude went off the grid. Like, look at Baltimore Tato, Tay Baltimore, Weather Spoons, and the off white Prestos. Really, Tay, like, Tay can pick any. He, he's like, I got the gold CR7s, I got the red CR7s, I got the Weather Spoons, the off whites. Bruh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm glad that KB Fresh Kicks ain't in here because you know he has some very disrespectful. shit. <laughs> the one thing I will say, the kick talkers. Like when they when they go in on shoes, they go in, bruh. Like, like the they, way they, they was talking shit about me picking up this week. Y'all do this shit every week. I had one week out of five seasons. That, that doesn't, do that doesn't clean. Week. That doesn't clean up what you did, Pastor. It doesn't just, clean up what you did, Pastor. I thought maybe I could make it. No, nope. no, no. I, I'm just gonna go back to reading the chat. Then. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. For me, we love '95s. <laughs> First pair of '95s for Don Turner. <laughs> Uh, Robert Coley Sr. got the G11 double ups. That's what's up. Uh, let's see. Deadpool Vans for Sneaker Man V. That's what's up. You really into the comic book shit, so I can see that. That makes sense. Uh, the Molders, close third for GLX Kicks. Bread Toe Ones for Q to Queen. Really? Mm. 
I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have guessed that one either. Um, that's right, Tay Baltimore. Grail season this year. God damn it. Royalty Force downturner. Hachi Tachi. <laughs> is KB in here? I don't think he is. There he is. Mm-hmm. The Kobe camos. Here you go. KB Fresh Kicks talking shit. The Levi's Cactus or the Sean's. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's why we don't have him in here. Who let him in? <laughs> um, for my Who let OG, you in? OG, this is Caddy's fault. I have to show this again. You know what? <laughs> it's Caddy's fault. Why? He I, asked the question. Why? He, he asked the question. Why? He asked the question. Did he mute me? No, I didn't mute you. Go ahead. I didn't. Okay. It's it's the grays. You know, yeah. Those. It's a tie between those and the Katrinas. Um, why is it a tie? Because the Katrinas I've been looking for since they started talking about they were coming back. I just think it's a really clean ass shoe. Um, and this one is part of the collection. So this is one one oh, a. The other one is in twenty eighteen. The the um the other most disrespectful shoe ever. Yeah, those were last year. Those were last okay. year. Yeah. All right. So that's, <laughs> he's about to cut me off. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah look at that. <laughs> OG about to hate, hate, hate. You saw uh, it, please. You see that? Chicago I, was I'm coming for you. I'm going to own it. <laughs> Chicago was coming I'm for you. I'm salty about that. I ain't never going to be unsalty about that. He said the Big Bang phones for me. I love phones. I, said, I love phones. That's what's going on. Lars Young. Uh, Q the Queen says she can't remember everything she bought. Well, you got a whole channel. You got a whole channel where you showed a whole heap of shoes. Uh, classic black and white chucks, high top lows. Damn, sneaky and cute. Big bang phones are stupid. Damn. Mm. That'd be my run up. Like, he gonna love on the shoe. That'd be my run up. That motherfucker's crazy. Second best shoe I got this year. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so we got that out the way. That was Caddy's question. This question is interesting to me that OG presented to us. What are your sneaker rituals? So what? Explain this question to me so I can answer it because I'm not sure. Mm. So, like for me, if uh, a ritual is like something that you do around your sneakers, it may be how you clean them when you clean them, what you do with them after you wear them. Okay. Uh, like a ritual for me is. Um, like how I keep my shoes. Um, if I haven't worn a shoe, it stays in the original box. And I won't take it out of the original box until I've de-iced it. And then it's fair game to go like in a drop front or in mm -hmm. one of the cases or someplace else. And in some cases, you know, it goes back in the box because maybe I, at that particular time, I, you know, I don't have, uh, you know, drop front space uh, available for it. But that's that's like something I do. Um, 11s. If I buy them, I will not wear them before a year. Wow. So like wh whatever drops, the Concords, mm -hmm. um, I, if, if I am fortunate to get them this year, the soonest I will wear them is next year. Wow. What if you get them used? Does it matter? No, it's only, that, that only applies to DS shoes. Only, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Do and, I have any sneaker rituals? Um, maybe a little OCD shit. Um, I don't want to put these shoes up because y'all niggas is assholes. Um, <laughs> I, always, I, I always lace mine with the left lace going over the right. So as the shoe is facing me, I always lace left over right. Okay. Um, and that's probably the only ritual for real. Anything else, I don't. Oh, and if it's if it's got a white insole or something like that. I will take that insole out and put it aside. A white insole or a special insole, I take them out and I get a, a replacement insole from something else. A regular. I don't I don't mess up those insoles like that. So that's about it for me. What about you, Caddy? Mine's is really with cleaning. Um I've always that, been that nigga can clean some shoes. I've always been the old school kid, toothbrush, uh water detergent. Uh, dishwashing liquid and I will sit there like a little kid 10 years old with the toothbrush going in. I've tried using the cleaner and using the brushes 
different methods, but nothing is like grabbing an old toothbrush and getting the detergent and water and getting up in the shoe and just sitting there. Get up you in know, the crevices. Yeah, and scrubbing the shoe down and wiping it and and cleaning the sides and getting a little bit of alcohol and cleaning the edges where you can just like let me get that little scuff right there without messing up the leather or on the eleven is the midsole like yeah let me get that right there. That's been one of my rituals. I think another one is, I think is when it when it comes to uh, dressing. I shop. I'm pretty sure most of y'all do this. I shop backwards. I buy the shoe first mm-hmm. and put the outfit together backwards. <clears throat> yep. Even when I even when I get dressed to wear shoes, I'll be like, okay, so I know I'm gonna wear this today. Wearing these today. What shirt do I have to go with these? And what jeans do I have to go with this? Yep. It's never, oh, I'm gonna wear that shirt today. What sneakers am I gonna wear? It's always backwards. Yeah. So Which yeah. is also why I have those twelves for sale. If anybody <laughs> twelve and a half, the deep royal suede twelves, because I couldn't find nothing to match them. It's a weird color. Uh, They're available. Well, well, if we're doing for sale commercials, reminder: I do have those uh, twenty-five straight Lebrons, uh, eleven and a half, still available. DS um, retail plus tax and shipping. That's it. No up. So y'all, you couldn't just let me have my mom, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's, that's what everybody's saying here too. Well, damn, Jamie, what happened? When I wear a new pair, my socks gotta be new. Oh, okay, that's different. Oh, here would be another ritual. I don't necessarily own this, but I got this from the homie Jumpman. Nike socks with Nike shoes, Jumpman socks with Jordans. He like. Clowns me all the time because mm-hmm. I have more Nike socks with Jordans. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it doesn't have to be for you. I'm just saying that's that's one I know for him. I got you. Uh, let's see. Two people talking about they got to smell their shoes. Mm. That's a habit. I smell the sh- new shoes. When I get these new used shoes, shoes, I'm, not, new I'm shoes. not smelling the used shoes, brother. I'm not smelling the new shoes. Something about um, a new shoe when you get that, that glue smell, that heavy glue smell when you first ooh. get it, you be like... Yeah. Oh Jesus, thank uh, you. Absolutely. Um, uh, so smelling the kicks is a must. Um Le- Q the Queen said I leave the shoes on top of the box out in the open so I can stare at them for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I can I can see that. Some of the new shoes I will get. And if I don't leave them in the box or put them in one of these boxes, I will occasionally take a look at them every once in a while. I've been looking at these Katrina since I got them. Still haven't worn them, paid extra for them. So stupid. Um Soulmate said shoes will go on with icy soles go in a 2.5 gallon Ziploc bag. Okay. Mm. That's smart. That's smart. Uh, let's see. Clean the bottom after the shoe after I wear them. That's what Grip Kick said. Um, all shoes I don't plan on wearing soon get Ziploc ASAP. That's smart. That's smart. That was a uh, Warrior Blood said that. <clears throat> Clean the bottom of my shoes after I wear them, especially icy bottoms. A lot of y'all do that, huh? Mm-hmm. I haven't thought about it, but you know, a lot of times I'll take a shoe off and it looks like I haven't walked in them. Speaking of which, the next time I step in some gum, I'm I'm punching the next person I see. <laughs> it's, it's just why are you spitting gum out on the street like that? God damn it, it pisses me off. It's the worst feeling in the world. There's there's the two worst feelings in the world when it comes to sneakers is when you step in something and it sticks to your shoe, or when you scuff your shoe in the front. Yep. Shit, scuff your shoe, period. Like when you can feel it. When you're walking up the steps and your ass ain't paying attention, you catch, you catch that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you be like, motherfucker, I know this is gonna be bad. Nah, I'll I tell you the bad. I'll tell you the worst being in New York. When you on the subway and you on the escalator, no. When you're on the escalator and you scuff that shoe on the escalator and you get that escalator oil on your shoe, oh my Mm. Yeah, yeah, bad, all bad, all mm. bad. Let's see. I, see, you guys are young guys. You'll never experience this one. But like, if I wear a new shoe, and sometimes I take a misstep, and I might drag my heel or slide the front, and I just feel that shoe go shh across the concrete. I just I shrink for a moment in in my shoes. I just have to have a moment of silence. Hey man, it's real shit. 
everybody's in here saying a lot of the same stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, all my shoes are in order. Ones with ones, threes with threes, etc. I got that like that right now, DT. Um, I think I'm going to change the layout so it's done by color just for something different. But yeah, all mine are ones with ones, twos in, in order. And then when you get to the non-Jordan shoes, I still try and keep them by, by the kind. So like in the corner, it's, the, it's all the question Iversons together. Um, it is the uh, the SB uh, college pack is in order. I try and keep them that way. Absolute styles. Oh, yeah. You know what? That's I do the same thing too. I relace my shoes because I hate uneven laces. I hate to, to pull the laces mm. up and one lace be here and the other one be high. I like my laces to be even. Absolutely. Even Steven. Absolutely. Yeah. I do not try on my shoes until the day I wear them. So Jamie White, I used to do that. And then um, we saw that beautiful picture last week of Index PDX. And they had one shoe he pulled out the box, hadn't worn them. <laughs> and the other shoe he pulled out, and he had two left shoes. So now I'm like, when I got all of these, immediately I took them out the box, I checked the sizes, and put them on real quick. And then I said, okay, we're good to go. That scared the fuck out of me. Because <laughs> some of these shoes you get, you just put them up. You don't think about it. Imagine having a shoe like OG. He get the Concords and he just leave them on ice until next year. He go to break them out. And it's two Ooh. right shoes, or they don't Ooh. fit because that's, the cut is different. Mm -hmm. You you don't remember what happened to me um last year when I mm -hmm. when I got the uh the Raptor Sevens? I didn't say DMP. I don't look at them. I just say I don't wear them. Yeah, yeah. I got the DMP Sevens and was getting ready to wear them to work. D just Ooh, saw yeah. the box and said size thirteen. Got ready to wear them to work, and I was like, these shoes are a little tight. tight. What? Oh, wait, wait, let me. <laughs> Wait, let me let me squeeze my foot in here. <laughs> this front toenail feel like it is yeah. about to pop off, and I look in them. They were eleven and a half in a thirteen box. Eleven and yeah. a half. So now I check every time I get a shoe. I'm like, hold on, let me check this size player. Let, yes. Okay, we live in lavish. There we go. We live in lavish. Absolutely. Here's Absolutely. one more. I don't do it enough. Um, when you cop in the store. Mm -hmm. Do you open the box and check both shoes before you decide you want them? Hmm. It depends. You know, I don't know about y'all, but here in Austin, when it's a big Jordan release, they don't let you do shit with the shoe. Mm -hmm. So, like, they, they don't even let you see? No, nah, when you show up for the release, they just be like, boom, here you go. They just ring you out. So by the time you get from the door, you get up there and give me your name, they just put the shit on the counter and ring it out. Boom. So you can ask, you can be like, can I see the shoe? And then they'd be like, oh. damn. like, damn, wait a minute. And if you rebuff too much, they will put your ass out the store and sell them to the next person. Oh, New York, they I slide that box over to you. Like, you want to check them out before you? And you're like, yeah, let me just check. Okay, we good. Yeah, you can put those in the bag, player. Thank you. Don't forget my VIP card. I need them points. Mm. And it's almost a must because these joints be having quality issues. Yep. We've seen everybody talking about them cactus. And they was like, yo, it's glue stains and shit everywhere. Like, you can't switch that out for another pair. Once you get that, this shit's over. <laughs> this shit's glue over. Glue stains, the eye missing off a of Nike. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, kid. They be bitching. Absolutely. Like, oh, goddamn. You got to see the shoe. You know what you bought? Don't ask the trial to Jordan. Don't ask the trial to Jordan. Like, you, hey, you got this in the 12 and a half? Nope, we got a 12 or 13. Can I see the 12 or the Which one you need? I need to know because some of them cut different. Ain't no trying on Jordans. What? Yeah, bro. You got to make your mind up. That's real shit. Uh, Somay said, I don't care. We checking the joints out regardless of how they feel. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Check the paint before buying J's. Yeah, when it's not a raffle release. And maybe that's what I'm thinking of specifically. Sneak King goes that, but when I do raffles. Uh, most of the other Jordans that aren't raffle, I'm buying online. So, right. Uh, and my foot locker, they check to make sure it's the right size at least. They do, Jamie White. That's true. If they're good about it, they'll check. Stains, paint strokes, hella bad, but you got them. So you're going to keep them, but you're going to send them back on the quality shit, or you just going to overlook it. Warrior blood. Uh, let's get to this next topic here. This made rounds this week. Uh, we still don't quite know what the role is going to be, but Jay-Z was recently named Puma's Basketball President of basketball is that what it is? Mm -hmm. President of basketball. Basketball operations, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean for uh, uh, a sneaker company. 
They signed, apparently Puma has signed uh, DeAndre Ayton, uh, Mar Marvin Bagley III, and Zaheer Smith. I don't know who's Zaheer Smith. I'm not going to lie about that one. But I know Bagley. I know Ayton. Uh, Multi-year footwear deals. And apparently they got money. Mm -hmm. Like they, they broke the bank for Bagley. Like the, I think they said it was the richest deal, richest rookie deal or some shit like that. Wow. Uh, so so Puma's out here trying to make a name for themselves, and they went and got Jay Z to say, "Hey, we got a cool black guy running it." Um, what do y'all think about that? And does that is that going to matter for Puma? And there's even a picture of the Puma shoe that's coming out, <clears throat> Puma basketball shoe. <sighs> Michael Porter. I don't think this is going to work for Puma. Um. Main reason why I say that you went and got probably the most non athletic rapper to represent Puma. Like, I don't get me wrong, Jay Z is Jay Z is one of the top five, but for a Puma basketball. Yeah, I mean they're trying to be relevant now. They're trying to get in that lane. It's nah. And so when does when does athletic and, and rapping have to do? Kanye got shoes. Yeah, I know yeah. it. Rihanna it, got it, shoes. Rihanna ain't got. Rihanna's not head of basketball operations. Hey, but you got to get Kanye, some money. Kanye's not head of basketball operations. Okay, you but let me but let me let me say it let me say it this way. You think. The fact that Jay Z was going to have that position, whatever it is, didn't influence these three kids that signed. Yeah, it probably did that, and they rookies. Man, look, if you show I mean, to that's me, that's all you're going to be able to get. You show to a meeting, you Jay Z, and you say, hey, "I got my wife B with me. I'm signing whatever the fuck you got in front of me." That's pretty much it. You don't have to pitch too hard. Oh, B, B, shit. Here, I'm signing. I think that they're trying to go for that cross culture because it's not it now. It's not always about just basketball. It's about that cool shit. It's about what you do off off the court. Look at a uh, Harden shoe. They did a basketball shoe and then they did a totally different lifestyle for that shoe. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that that's probably what it is. He, yeah, somebody just posted up. Don Turner said he got the sports agency. Um, he had a hand into actually not even a hand. He is the branding for the Brooklyn Nets. Like with it with the cool basketball team, they had to figure out a way. Like we're the cool basketball team. Jay Z is with us, so it's it's kind of like it's a wide open market. It doesn't have to be all Nike. It doesn't have to be well. Shit, it's Nike. That's pretty much it. There's all these other outliers, but it's pretty much Nike. And Puma's like, hey, let's get a shot. Let's let's go. So I can't even be mad at that. He can't get his clients that he signed to sign Puma. Maybe. Possibly, but it's like Jay Z gonna get the fly shoes out of everybody. You know, you gonna want. Hey Jay, you, you still got any more of those four 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 Pumas? I, I need, I need those. I don't want these Puma basketball shoes. These is trash, Jay. You know these is trash, baby. Give me what you wearing. I want all the good stuff. I want the Puma Clydes in the blue with the number ten on the back. I need those. I need all the fly shit that you wearing. This right here. This Rihanna basketball sneaker that you're trying to give me, <laughs> but work, here's, work, 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 sneaker. I'm not wearing <laughs> this. <laughs> here's the, the good thing that I'm thinking about Puma is that number one, there's no expectations, and number two, because you're coming into this game like that with no expectations, you can do that wild shit that ain't nobody's trying. You can make a flight at Hirachi that come up to your knee. Nobody may buy the shit, but you can do it, and nobody's gonna take any. You're not gonna take any heat. It's wide open for you to do something else. We saw Adidas doing some weird shit with those crazy boosts and, and shit like that. There's avenue for it. And Puma tried to do the uh, that flex ball midsole shit that they had, their new cushioning system. So they're trying some new shit. Uh, they made some waves with the runners that they came out with this year. They had the uh, the other slip-on with the side laces that came out this, last year. So they're they trying. I, I'm with it. I'm with it. I think it's, it's definitely a spot for the new generation to make their mark. So they're not hiding up under Jordan. Some of these niggas ain't seen Jordan play. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some of these cats ain't fucking with Adidas. So it's a wide open market. So I'd be, I'd be interested to see what they do. Good luck with them ACLs. <laughs> the lifestyle shit is where they need to stay. It, and it might be another, you know, another brand for the cross trainer. 
Remember, because Dion, Dion was the one who kicked out with those cross trainers. He went from the court to the streets. That's kind of what got niggas hyped. So if you get one of these new cats that's got a personality and you can go from the court to the street, a trainer shoe, you got a shot. I'm interested to see what he does. Um, that kind of brings us to our next topic here that we got on the, uh, the outline here. Uh, the role of the influencer. Um, Caddy will give you more of this story, but we've seen stories. And it, it, this is kind of a hodgepodge topic. It has a lot of tentacles, so we're going to try and get this topic for you. Um, we've seen people on YouTube. Hell, let's use us as an example. Fuck people's names. We promote the shit out of Footed Society. A lot of y'all rock with Footed Society because we've said their name, and y'all trust that if we fucking with them, that y'all can fuck with them. And that's been a pretty safe assumption. Mm -hmm. Footed Society, we bought from footage. A lot of y'all bought from footage. Um, they're in the show. They support. Y'all support them, and it's been good. But what about those situations where somebody that you rock with promotes something and it doesn't go well? It, it's not a good look. I had, look, I told my story and I'll say the name. I don't give a shit. Um, I forget who the person was, but they mentioned Bobby Fresh. And I ordered some shirt for Bobby Fresh and they didn't get here until after I disputed, got my money back. They showed up two and a half, three months later. I just was like, what the fuck? No communication at all. I sent emails and stuff, and then I ordered from them because somebody promoted them. Um, Caddy, you have a story that you want to talk about, like in the same realm, right? Yeah. Um, I, I'll say it happened to me. There was an influencer online that I, you know, I saw they were vouching for a company. Uh, I was like, oh, okay, let me go on and buy uh, some shoes from that company. The company seemed legit. I bought shoes. And the next thing I know, uh, I'm waiting for the shoes to come in and never heard from them. Then there was a situation with their store and I'm like, all right, well, don't worry. Your shoes will be there. You know, your shoes is on their way. You know, they're going to be coming out to you soon. Okay. Still nothing. You know, weeks turned into a month. <laughs> mm -hmm. That turned into a month and a half. And then finally I said, okay, I'm done. I had to call my credit card company and cancel that. And next thing I know, the company store disappeared. Store completely disappeared. And it it sucks because we pay attention to all these pages and everything like that. And you know, we're looking at influencers and we're trying to, you know, if, like if you see me say, hey, yo, shout out to Image NY, you know, dope customer service, great shoes. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say, oh, you know what? Maybe I should go mess with Image NY. Maybe I should go mess with them. Maybe I should go check out their store. Now, what happens if they do you dirty? You're going to be like, damn. And which, I mean, do I do me dirty? And Caddy up here promoting them, like, what, what, what's he really about? What's going on here? Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's it's messed up because like, I feel like some of these, some of these people are trying to look at, are trying to get the influencers in uh, attention, mm -hmm. and use them to promote their shadiness. And they don't even know it. Not only how shady they are, use them to promote their shitty customer service or their shitty brand. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, it, it's like, what the fuck? I've seen people that'll, that'll say, hey, you know, promote me, rock with me, I'll give you a discount code, whatever, whatever. And then when you order from them and you tell some people to order from them because you got a discount code, you try to make this shit show and then they don't communicate. They don't, they don't ship out the shit in time. It take a week and a half. You just had a company that you ordered from for, I think for the first time, Caddy, because they had dope products. It mm -hmm. took you two weeks to get your shit. Yeah. It took you two weeks. Now look, anything Caddy tells me about orders some shit, I ordered. He got me to order from the Netherlands, nigga. <laughs> Netherlands, <laughs> this website looked like shit, but Caddy said it, so I ordered. Like, it's official. He's like, are you sure? It's official. Oh, okay. All right. I'm ordering. I'm Caddy ordering. said it. I'm ordering. Okay. And the only reason I didn't order from this place is because I just forgot to get to it. 
Hey, hey, we are two weeks later. You just got it. Go ahead. I just want to read this car comment. I know there were some other ones. I'll try to scroll back up to those. But Soulmate says, influencers are basically just faces for businesses and can only control what they can control, you know. So I wouldn't call the dude that does the Allstate commercials if Allstate screws me over. So That's real talk. All, I'm going to suggest, in my opinion, just my opinion, that the Allstate dude is not what we're talking about because he's just a character actor. But I guarantee you, if I'll use us, if footage did you in some kind of way that left you feeling some kind of way, ah. I, you might hit one of us up in our DMs and be like, yo, this, that, and the third happened. What do you think that I should do? Or, you know, how can I contact them? Totally different. Because yeah, I'm, not, I'm not acting like I'm somebody who supports Footage Society. I am. We are. We, we've had it happen. Mm -hmm. We've had it happen where it's something that we promoted in a video or on the show. We said, hey, shot with such and such. And when that order didn't show up, we got a hit in the inbox. Yep. What's, like, up? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up with such such? what's going on? And it might not even be from the, the perspective of I'm holding y'all accountable, but it's like, okay, you told me to order from them. My shit ain't here. Can you help me out get my shit? Mm -hmm. I think that's totally reasonable. Right. But the problem is, y'all know us. Like, y'all fuck with us. Y'all sent us messages before anyway. The problem is when you're looking at somebody who's got a bigger brand, they've got their own store, um, and they got a shoe that's coming out in the reviews. I'll, I'll talk around the skirt so y'all can see what I'm talking about without saying names. But there's a shoe came out. It's a Jordan collab shoe. Nobody's liked the shoe for the most part. The first image came out, everybody was like, this is trash. Somebody else came out and was like, hey, this is kind of dope. And they caught heat because it was like, nigga, you can't just be telling shit is dope if it's trash. And I think that a lot of times we look at that situations happen. I can go back to YouTubers that I've watched and I can go to Instagram with people that I've watched where they have talked shit about a particular brand mm -hmm. or they never liked the brand until them motherfuckers blessed them with some shoes or some pictures. And then all of a sudden it's the best shoe ever. Yeah, and then all of a sudden the brand is, is, is popping. It's like, it's yo, popping. This it's is really, the yo, they, I, I was sleeping. I was sleeping on them, yo. Like, and, and I will say this now for I, I will not be able to get it, so I'll say this confidently. When I first saw the image of those uh Don C airship, whatever the fuck that shoe is, mm -hmm. the black, the black with the elephant and the strap, I said it was terrible. And then I saw the white and I was like, it's okay. And I saw the blue, I was like, that's pretty dope. And then I saw the green, and I was like, nigga, I gotta have them. That don't make me a hype beast. <laughs> There's different colorways that make the shit dope, but automatically because you get this role of influencer, a lot of the times we automatically associate that with being a coon and, and playing a sneaker game and selling out and promoting bullshit. And it's like, yo, it's not always like that. Like just as bad as we're worried about getting played by the people that are influencing the game, we also don't allow people to have opinions and that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, what, what do we have? And I think we kind of, when we were talking about this topic, it kind of bounced around our conversation. I'm not sure if we, you know, how deep we got into it. But like, what it, what do you guys think is like? Does it does the influencer have any responsibility in that situation? Well, here's the thing: when it comes to be when it, you're an influencer, um, it's hard to say if they have a responsibility because they're not the one selling you the product. They they're promoting the product. But the funny thing about it is you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Like you're out on the front of the stage and what you really don't know is backstage, everybody's fighting. So like prime, I'll give you a good example. Draymond Green does these commercials for Smile Direct Club. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So Smile Direct Club, for people that don't know what Smile Direct Club is, it's an affordable Invisalign. Yep. So... Draymond Green does these commercials and he talks about how Smile Direct Club is so great and everything. And if you ever seen Draymond Green's teeth before and now, nigga. But anyway, <laughs> so he does these commercials. So I saw it and I was thinking, mm, you know what? Maybe I should get, you know, Smile Direct Club before the wedding because I want my, my teeth to look perfect in the pictures. I do my homework and do review and do some, check for some reviews. I would say about a good 80, 85% of the reviews I checked said Smile Direct Club is trash. 
Mm-hmm. It was like how they went and got it. Their their alignment was off, or they had worse spaces. And I'm like, damn, how do you? So where do you go from there? Like, it's not Draymond's fault, but Draymond's out here promoting it, right. and Draymond doesn't have a clue. So it's just it's, it's the same way in the sneaker game. Like, so, but my question wasn't, is it his fault? I said, do they have a responsibility? Well, that's the thing. Different questions. But that's the thing. Like, can you hold him responsible? Like, yo, Draymond, you ain't do your homework, man. Like, you out here promoting this, and I and I just got got. Like, now look at me. Mm -hmm. So, can you hold him responsible? Because he saw that. Like, if if I say, hey, y'all, listen, go to you know, go to you know, this store right here. And check them out and use my discount code. And I've been getting shoes and everything's been good. And yeah, y'all go and y'all get screwed. You know, am I responsible? Can I, you know, can I say, hey, my fault, man, they always take care of me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, me personally, I would feel like I'm somewhat responsible because I told y'all to go. Like I, you know, I I pushed it. Y'all went, and now y'all screwed. I would feel somewhat responsible. I would feel like, damn, I, my bad, y'all. I didn't know, you know, didn't know this was gonna happen. Um, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do to help y'all. I can go talk to them, right? But other than that, I, you know, there's nothing I can do. So I I kind of, and I asked that question for a reason. Um. But like KB Fresh Kicks was sharing a situation that he went through, and I respect. And you know, we're not out over here trying to, you know, put people's name in the street or anything like that, because that's not what this discussion is about. And for me, Caddy, I'm kind of, I hear what you're saying, and I, but at the same time, I feel like there are situations where, like, I feel like to use your example. Okay, so for Draymond. Mm-hmm. They probably gave him the special special and he probably did go get some, you know, like really specific alignments. So every time he goes and change his, they go, in other words, they're going to make sure Draymond shit is correct because he's Draymond and he's not the other people that are out there because if he's not going to use it and say that it's working, then, you know, and, and the other thing about just in that particular situation, you don't know if that person, like they may say, okay, well, you got to buy these every three weeks because that's how your teeth ship. Yeah. And if you skip or miss, you're going to have issues. Well, if you don't do that and then just go shit on the product, you know, that's not all the product. You Some of that is you didn't follow the protocol. And sometimes you don't, you don't know that. And I just, I'm not saying that's, was it, the case and the ones that you read i'm just saying sometimes that could happen and it's that type of situation people don't necessarily own up to that part it just oh it don't work no i I can i can understand that but but if you are more intimately involved in the influencing part of it let's say if you the company's selling it Mm -hmm. but uh you get a piece because you have go use og sneakers and every time somebody <clears throat> buys whatever they're buying and they use OG seekers the, the company kicks me back you know six donuts whatever it is now in my mind I just can't get past it. if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be 100 as the homie G4 says all the time if I'm keeping it the buck 100 it's I I, I kind of feel a little bit that you have a little bit more responsibility than just you know, at a minimum, <clears throat> you know, if it's a situation where other things are revealed to, you know, maybe speak on it. I don't know. Uh, but I, I don't think that it's, it's wrong for somebody to feel. I, I just want I guess what I was trying to say a lot, a lot of other stuff to say. I, I do not think that is wrong for someone to feel that an influencer has. An amount of responsibility in a situation. The influencer may not feel that way, but I don't think that is wrong for somebody who's out there saying, hey, you know, I watch you. I believe you to be a person of integrity or whatever, whatever. 
And that was part of the reason why I bought. And so I feel like, you know, you know, that that you that you have some ownership in this situation. Do Not you that you had control of the company or you know, whatever their business yeah, practice was gotcha. or whatever, but that, that you have some responsibility. And I, I I think that that's a fair way. If 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 we have to if we can say that it's fair for the influencer to be like, hey, you know, it's not my company. I think it's fair for the customer to be like, but nigga, I only bought this because you said yeah. it was good. You know, you you would expect some compassion, you, you know, right. like like you would expect the influencer to be like, hey, listen, I hear y'all, this happened. I'm sorry, I didn't intend for this to happen to you. Because let's be real, sometimes when a simple acknowledgement of, yo, I didn't know this was going to happen, my apologies, can make a world of difference sometimes. Absolutely. Can make well, a world that, of difference. That, and I think it depends too, you know, on, on holding the person responsible, is if this is a one-off or if this is a trend. So if all of a sudden, everybody ordered, and I'm using Footage Society because this is our association, right? So if everybody went in here today and started ordering for Footage Society, and everybody started getting fakes, everybody's shipping took three or four weeks, that's a reflection on me, and I'm going to feel bad, and I'm going to feel some kind of way about it. But now if one person out of the people that we've sent over there ends up getting a shoot that's not what they expected in the mail, and they hit me up, I'm like, okay, let me try and figure this out, but I'm not going to go on my... I'm not going to be on talking kicks next week and be like, fuck footage society. We ain't doing that shit. Mm -hmm. now, right, if right. you have a, if you have a habit of being pieces of shit and I'm yeah. promoting you, then yeah. I should do a line stepper. Yeah. Then, then I got to air you out. That's the only way that I can protect my brand and set that shit up. Right. If everybody got these shirts late and they was fucked up and didn't like them, I would expect y'all to send me a message and be like, yo, these shirts ain't shit. And what I would do in turn is number one, try and get your money back. Number two, I wouldn't fuck with that printer no more. That'd be the end of it. I feel bad because I took the business that way. Um, and and I've had people that I've ordered stuff from and thought it was straight and I've given them multiple chances and they kept fucking it up and I can't fuck with them no more. Uh, we've got a we got a person right now. I think we all ordered from these people at the same time. Uh, was it VND? VN? No, it's not. It's limited supply. We all ordered from limited supply within 48 hours. Me, Caddy, and OG. Um, I can speak from my experience. My shit was horrible. That's when I got those alternate fours that were dirty and dusty, and I had to fight to get my money back. And then because dude was acting like he was official with it, when I sent the shoes back, it was a different address. And because I sent the shoes back to a different address than his PayPal address when, he, when I bought them, he stopped talking to me, and PayPal wasn't going to get my money back. So I had to send them the full transcript of all the email, like, because, you know, if you if you dispute with PayPal, they'd be like, have you tried to work it out with the seller? If you have, I'm like, yeah, I talked to him. He worked it out. He told me to send them back. We good. Oh, uh, well, you didn't send it back to the same address. Fuck you mean? He sent me. A so it was like for, for me, that's that situation was terrible. And I will never order from them again. I don't give a shit. What about you, Caddy? What was your experience like with them? Um. My experience was I ordered a pair of LeBron 15s, the Ashes, when they first came out. They had them, I think, a week early or two weeks early, mm -hmm. and I ordered them. Now, mind you, they're in New Jersey. I'm in New York. So two-day shipping, two days right. priority. I ordered them on a Tuesday early early morning i would say about well mid-morning 10 o'clock 11 o'clock normally you expect if you order something around 10 11 o'clock that shoe was going out that day that shoe didn't go out till i think friday i think it went out friday i didn't get the shoe until monday but i believe og you ordered the same day i ordered and you had your shoe on Thursday. <laughs> and I'm like, and you know, he's further south and I'm right across the water. I'm like, well, shit, I could have just drove over and picked it up. Exactly. Yeah. And here it is a week later, I'm getting my shoe and OG's way down the road and he said, they're like, I got my ice cream and you can't have the I'm like, bruh, and it was just like, um, yeah, I don't know if I want to do business with y'all again. Now, yeah, it's, 
I, I want to say something real quick. When it comes to influencers and you know vouching for a company, um, so when they come to you, like you can tell an influencer, yeah, you got to do your homework and everything like that. But you companies can hide stuff. Absolutely. Companies, yeah, companies can hide stuff from you that you don't even know, and the messed up part about it is they they will use you because you are you could reach you reach out to everybody mm -hmm. and if you're like if you're a person that everybody trusts they they're definitely going to use you because they're like yo you know he's a good dude if they they talk he talks to him or she's a good chick like for example everybody here knows Q the queen we've seen the videos she's been on the show she ain't shit but she's a good person <laughs> But you know, Bless her they, heart. exactly. Um, she get you know, if somebody came to her, hey Q, you know, we'd love for you to promote, they would use somebody like Q the Queen because people mess with her, people rock with her. They would look at Lars and be like, Hey, you know, Lars got a following, he got you know his finale morning, you know, we could use somebody like Lars, and that's unfortunate that. <laughs> They <laughs> that's unfortunate that they would do something like that. It's it's messed up. It's messed up because our community shouldn't be like this. Yeah. Our community shouldn't be like this. Throwback King, what's up? And it's it's kind of hard um to even I see everybody saying doing your homework and how much homework is homework. Like so and, and this, you know, this is probably a conversation that we can move on to the next episode. We get along on time here, but if you're at I just saw um, Unbreakable Kicks at SneakerCon Chicago. He got a pair of tins that were autographed, Michael Jordan. The, the person selling them had a certificate of authenticity. At a sneaker con like that, with the price and everything, how much more research can you do? And again, this is different because you're right there on site. But he was able to go home and do his research, came back the next day, found out they were fake. The dude got the shoes back. He got his money back. But what's going to stop old boy from selling this shoe to somebody else? You got a certificate of authenticity. You still got a business of some sort where you show up at events and sell shoes. So what's going to stop him from moving that shoe through the community? It's a signed Jordan shoe. That means that that shit is probably going to last longer than any other Shadow 10 because it's signed. It's got longevity. It's a collector's piece. That should be here 40 years down the road. How much homework is homework? If if Caddy tells me about a shoe company, if OG tells me about a shoe company, and I look at their page and they actually have their links, they have an email, they have a phone number, they have an Instagram, they reply to the comments, they they updating shit is sold. That's probably the end of my homework. That doesn't mean that I'm still not gonna get a shitty ass ordeal. So I I just want to say that because everybody's saying do your homework, and I'm like okay, do your homework. But that doesn't negate you from getting fucked. And it doesn't also mean that the person that spoke for them had any idea that they was going to clown you like that. If if um, Scoop, if we go back to that Scoop situation, and let's say Scoop knew nothing about that, and old boy ran a big-ass scam on them uh, Yeezys, Scoop looks like shit. But that don't mean he knew. He had been rocking with the person for this long, and this dude decided, okay, this is the deal. I've been setting up these little tastes so I can get this big fish. And now, mm -hmm. now it's on. And now Scoop is looking like shit. He did his homework. He'd been rocking with the dude for a minute. And now you got fucked in the game. If if Caddy decides that we did this show before, so y'all know where I'm going with this. But if Caddy tells me he got the hook up on some shoes, I'm not researching Caddy. What, what Caddy tells me is fucking Bond. I'm not researching shit. Maybe I'm stupid like that, but I don't have people around me I don't trust. I trust Caddy. So now if he, if he ends up getting me, we got a problem. <laughs> that ain't no research. He fucked me over. Yeah. And totally understand it. It would be the same way with OG. It'd be the same way with you. Like, y'all say something like, yo, it's legit. I'm on it. Yep. Until it's not legit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. If it's a bad deal, if I have a bad transaction, my experience with limited supply, I don't put that on. I think Caddy told me about the site. I don't blame Caddy for that shit. I blame limited supply for that shit because the way the ordeal went, it wasn't that they was trying to game me. They just, it was a fucked up transaction. 
I'm mm-hmm. not going back. I'm not going back. Um, I feel like I need to go back and look at these comments, these comments because y'all been putting it on. A lot of good on. stuff, man. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. Did you see something that, that stuck out to you? Um, no, I mean, I think, I think pretty much our our discussion has kind of gone around. You know, kind of what uh, people were saying. You know, uh, mm-hmm. Lars was sharing that. You know, as, as a as a person that's in a role like that, you know, there's a lot of things that he has to turn down. You know, or or ignore. So you know, just encouraging people that are in that position. You know, you just can't jump on everything, you know, uh, everything that comes around. Can um, I add this to that, too? Absolutely. Um, with my own brand, with Lift Heavy, which I don't talk about on this show. for, I feel like this is not a, a venue for me to promote that shit. But a lot of y'all are supported. Thank you for that. Um, the amount of people I get that send me messages and say that they would love to be a brand ambassador and have never bought a single stitch of clothing makes me look at this game different because how many people do we know that's promoting a website or promoting a, a sneaker subscription or a store that never patronized the store at all? Like, how do we know? They might have just reached out and said, oh, shit, you got, you got a million followers? Cool. That works. We'll send you a freebie. That's not ordering. That's not an experience. You sending me some free shit is not an experience. That's how I got mm-hmm. some free shit. Hey, go fuck with them. Lift Heavy is dope. You ain't wore the clothes. You ain't put on a stitch of clothing. You don't know what it feels like. You don't know how it wears when you're in the gym. The same shit happened with your shoes. And, and, and I think we're all guilty because how much money has StockX and GOAT made off of us? Right. Who the fuck certifies what a shoe authenticator is? I'll wait. Very we true. don't know. We have no idea, but they came in and they said, hey, we authenticate shoes. We guarantee. Based on what? We have no idea who's authenticating shit. Caddy might work for StockX. Might not know. Caddy might go buy a whole bunch of shit. Go ahead, Caddy. A whole, whole heap of shit. Go ahead. <laughs> Caddy might buy. He might get a whole bunch of shit in them DHL boxes and be selling them from StockX, saying they're legit, putting their goddamn button on there and sending them. I'm not saying they're doing this. What I'm saying is that we're all guilty as much homework as we say we're doing we're all guilty because they they set up a whole organization of shit and we bought into it if they if it's got if they got rent if a place is paying rent we trust them yeah. i have gone into stores and i i assumed and i think we all have if we're being honest that this place is not selling me bullshit because they have rent to pay and selling counterfeit shit puts you in jeopardy so we just assume that you're telling the right shit this is not like when you go and you you're going to a doctor they got their credentials. You can track that shit. But you know, if it's another place to set up a business that nobody can quantify, trainers. It's a lot of personal trainers out here that don't know shit. But because they got abs, we trust them to be personal trainers. Two th- two things that I saw. Lars Young said that the influencer has a big responsibility. A lot of people don't understand that. Some people just want the free stuff. Absolutely yep. true. Absolutely. That's 1,000% true. Yeah, yeah because... When you're the influencer, you may not realize it, but yes, you really do influence people. Yeah. You look at, okay, look at Lister. I I look at Lister's page all the time, look at his LeBrons and everything. Look how many people follow Lister and look how many people leave quotes under their page similar to Lister's. <laughs> and, and to say that, Lister also recently had to deal with a situation. I believe it was him. He posted it, but I believe that he got scammed. And all I'm saying is that this shit happens to the best of us. Yeah. So regardless of how much fucking research you're doing, this shit may happen. Ricardo Bonner says, um, having character and what you put your name and approval on is big. If you just take your hands off and pass the book, you weak. That's real shit. Don Turner said that, that stock is waiting got Wale and he has all the legitimacy the community needs. I'm not even gonna front when Wale popped up in that first stock commercial. It was like, I'm stoned, okay. Mm. So, what we buy? It's a yeah, sneaker he's guy, a sneaker I guy. can trust him. Yeah, that's all it is. He's a sneaker guy, I can trust him. Like, the minute you it, it plays a big part to the people that you have on the stage promoting you plays a big part and unfortunately there's people out here who will take advantage of that there are people out here who look at that and be like oh, this is a great this is a great guy yeah he can really fuck some people over for us 
And he's we, not. We saw, <laughs> he's not even gonna know it. We saw the story last. We did last season of old boy who was running that whole sneaker uh, store, and he was buying fakes to keep up with the demand. Mm-hmm. He built his reputation on real shit, and once his business got big, he started selling the fakes. There's only so much research you can do in this game. So, you know, just watch what people promote. Watch how they promote. Why don't we have a lot of sponsors? Because we take that shit seriously. We don't even share all the shit we pick up, all these shoes we buy. We don't mention a lot of these stores because we take that shit seriously. I don't know what's going to happen in seven, eight transactions for you. I know that for me, these one or two are straight. I might need another five or six before I even vouch for them. I might need to be able to talk to somebody. I will never say bad shit about Laced Up NY. We had a situation. We ordered caddy shoes from Laced Up NY. We've ordered other shit from there, too. But we ordered caddy shoes from them. Uh, the USPS, them motherfuckers, that's the company that should be out of service. But y'all did good this week, so thank you. Tachi tachi. Um, <laughs> but they just wouldn't deliver the shit to Caddy's house. They just said, fuck it. We're not delivering to his house, and, and better yet, we're going to send this shit back. So I hit up Laced Up NY, and they responded to my message. I was like, yo, this shit didn't happen. He was like, yo, I got you. Where do you need me to send it? I said, I need you to send it here to this address. Let me know how much it is. He's like, we got you. I got you. That's that's no problem. I can't say shit bad about the way they handle business. Are their shoes legit? The pair that we bought was legit. But I'm not going to go on this show and be like, yeah, everything they got is authentic. I'm not going to go that far. Right. I'm going to say that they handled business when they needed to handle business. That's real yeah, shit. Because at the end of the day, if I sit up here and say, yeah, this, this store is legit and everything, and you go buy that shit and it's fake, who you going to be mad with? You're going right. to be mad at just the store or you're going to be mad at the store and me? Real right. talk, they're going to be mad at you first and then go, yeah. well, yeah, they sold it to me, but I only bought them because you no, said it. That's when the Instagram posts come up. Yep. This nigga yep. Caddy been promoting this store. Yep. And, 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 that's, and that's why, because a lot of times the only research you have is the person that you watch. Mm-hmm. Caddy is my research for 99% of the sites I shop from. That might not be smart, but I kind of believe Caddy wouldn't fuck me over. Now he might not. He might be one of the people that would like loosen the top on the salt before he hands it to me. He might do some shit like that. But Caddy's not gonna that let me accurate. spend three hundred dollars. <laughs> he ain't gonna let me spend three hundred dollars on the but, but look, there's been many a times myself, OG, and you, and you have been shopping on a website, or you'd be like, "Yo, I found this store. We've been looking at it." And I'd be like, "Nah, <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> can't nah. do it. Uh, erase that from your bookmarks, fellas. <laughs> can't do that one. Yeah, so." I think that's kind of the takeaway from all the shit we've seen posted this week. People talking about shoes that are ugly that people ain't supposed to like. Uh, people end up getting duped from other companies that somebody else promoted. It's like buyer beware like a motherfucker um, mm-hmm. and, and just kind of knowing who the fuck you're watching as best as you can. Can I say something right quick? Absolutely. Um, I just want to say to the kick talkers, um, you know, we really appreciate you all letting us have these conversations and and not this is like stuff that we want to talk about. And sometimes like when we're prepping for the show or whatever, we're like, well, now we can't really do that because we don't want it to look this kind of way. We're not out here trying to disparage nobody's name or anything like that. But at the same time, I felt like this was a great, healthy, you know, conversation. People had the opportunity to share, you know, what they think and their thoughts. Um, And we should be able to have conversations about, you know, things that might be a little hot or, or controversial um and just so that we can you know share feelings and knowledge and, and you know maybe somebody will rethink or, or, or think about this conversation the ne- next time you know they're looking at something new or something like that but i i just i, I really appreciate the fact this is not the first time we've kind of touched something like this and i think we feel mm-hmm. comfortable and competent that we can because you all understand that we're just trying to have a discussion we're not trying to you know b- put nobody on blast or anything like that so uh we really uh really do appreciate that and we'll we'll go even this far with it, and then we'll we we'll do our shout outs and wrap up the show because we didn't ran over again. Um, and we give you a whole another show. We gonna fuck around and give you all three extra shows with this one over time. <laughs> um, if y'all buy some shit from footage and it's all kinds of fucked up, let us know. Absolutely, we will whoop Nicole's ass. <laughs> I said it. She ain't here, so I said it. And Nicole, when you watch this, I'm just a bitch ass nigga. I didn't. Mean, <laughs> I didn't mean nothing by that. I would never. I would never do anything like that. But for real, if y'all get some shady from footage and we promote them as much as we promote them, let us know. I'm not saying that we're gonna get your money back or we're gonna fix it, but we'll definitely address it as best we can. We stand on that one. Absolutely. We stand on that one. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> but I think that's it, man. Uh, you know, we've been, we've been talking to you all day. We ain't fielding no questions this week. We'll see y'all next week. We ain't fielding I, no questions. I got one last question. God damn it, OG. Who is Frozone, and should I be offended that I'm... Where to... is my <laughs> super? <laughs> uh, okay. That, yeah, that's my man. Okay, I'm good with that. Honey, where is my super suit? <laughs> yo, when I seen that in chat, I was like, yo. I was like, who did that? I was I like, why? Sam Jackson. That's my Morehouse brother. That is not an insult. You uh, gotta take that one. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. I think that we one. I think we said that before. We was like, oh gee, remind me of Frozo. <laughs> <laughs> Like, honey, up, where? <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I want to just say again, out of turn, I really appreciate y'all. We got 38 likes. I think that's the most likes we've had on the live show. Uh, we still got 28 in here. Y'all motherfuckers are amazing, bro. Thank you for rocking the shirts, supporting, tagging, putting us in your stories, shouting us out, hitting me up, all that extra shit, man. We That shit means a lot because y'all ain't got to do none of that shit. Y'all ain't got to do none of it. Um, but y'all come and spend your time with us on Wednesdays. Y'all come and shoot us messages. Y'all give us deals. Y'all show, hey, man, like, that's that's love. Um, and there are three shirts left for the people who's still looking to get that shirt. I got a gray one. I got two black ones. Not one, X gray. not two, but three. I got a three X gray, one black large, and one gray large. They are still available. Don't, Hit me up don't forget, you don't forget the, the off-white TK shirts come out at midnight, $1,800. <laughs> For yes, shipping, we got to buy it. Back. We're gonna have authentic uh caddy sweat on all the shirts. Authentic caddy sweat. Just want y'all to know that. That's nineteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> caddy, holla at the people, man, so we can get up out of here. Uh, as always, family, you know we love rocking with y'all. We appreciate y'all coming through. We appreciate y'all supporting talking kicks. We, we appreciate that so much to see the bags and to see uh just shouting us out man like it, it like it's it's overwhelming sometimes sometimes i'm sitting there like yo this is really going down like this is crazy but uh, like man when i say y'all a family y'all a family for real like absolutely but as always appreciate y'all love y'all we'll see you next week OG. Well, family, you done know we come to the end of another episode. <laughs> we appreciate we, we appreciate you guys so much. We say it a lot because it's just we can't say it. We can't say it enough. We just three dudes that had an idea and, you know, we're like on the brink of doing nothing. And, uh, you know, we, we still rocking September. We'll be celebrating one year. We don't know what we're going to do yet to celebrate that, but we could only even be getting close to it, you know, if it um, if it wasn't uh, for y'all. Somebody says something about having some interest in them shoes, and if you do, just hit me in the DMs. Um, we're going to see the DMs, too. At, I got yeah, please, please. please. We, we got blue, <laughs> you got blue sweat. You got the Elvis Presley them, right? The Presley yep. 12s? Yep. What else you got, brother? What else you got? I got the Cement 5s. Cement 5s. Yeah, with a C, not with an S. C right. and faves. Right. Yeah, definitely not with an S. <laughs> so we're gone, but you know, OG Sneakers wishing all of you. It's been a while. Total Sneaker Family. <laughs> Wala. Holla. We gone, family. <laughs> Deuces. Peace. Sneak King said he needs a uh, 